Hi everyone, welcome back to our statistics series. In the last video, we learned what statistics is, its importance in various fields, branches of statistics, and some key terminologies. In the key term, we looked at population and sample. But in this tutorial, I want to use examples to show you the difference between population and also show you the difference between parameter and statistic. Okay. So without wasting much time, let's start. You remember we said population refers to the entire group of interest. Okay. And then we said sample is the part or subset of the population. Now, a numerical measure that describes a population is known as parameter. Don't worry, you understand, okay. And then the one that describes a sample is known as statistic without an S. Statistic. Let's take an example so that you can understand this better. Now, example one. You want to find out the average time of students in KNUST. A survey of 160 randomly selected students shows the study 2.2 hours per day on average. Now, when you look at this, our finding is on students in KNUST. Staff and upper, just students in KNUST general. Okay. So, all students in KNUST is the population. Okay. But they said a survey of 160 randomly selected students. So, a survey. So, when you conduct a survey, you select some parts of the population. So, this part of the population, which is 160, is a sample. Okay. Whereas all students in KNUST is the population, that's the group of interest, okay? And that's the group in which the sample was selected from. So the 160 selected students is a sample. Now, when we read further, it says, a survey of 160 selected students shows the study for 2.2 hours per day on average so this average this mean okay we calculated the average study time or the mean study time for the 160 students now because calculated this average for just 160 students not all students okay just for the 160 students so that makes the mean study time of 2.2 hours here a statistic Okay, it's a statistic, not parameter. Because it wasn't calculated using responses of all students in KNUST. It was just calculated from a sample. So that's why the mean of 2.2 hours per day is statistic, not parameter. Okay, now let's take another example. Example 2. You want to find out the average weekly internet usage for academic purposes among university students in Accra. A survey of 350 students from three universities in Accra shows they use the internet for 12 hours per week on average for studying. So let's identify the population, the sample, and the parameter or statistic. Okay. Now, the population is going to be all university students in our class. Okay, that would be the population. But a survey of 350 students from three universities in our class. Okay, so these 350 students will be the sample. Okay, then when we read it properly, it says a survey of 350 students from three universities in our class shows. They use the internet for 12 hours per week on average for studying. This mean of 12 hours was calculated using a sample of 350 students, not all the students. Okay, so since this mean of 12 hours was calculated using the sample of 350 students, not the entire population of university students in Accra, then the 12 hours is a statistic, not a parameter. Exactly. Let's take more examples. Show whether the measure in each question 
represent a parameter or a statistic. 1. A recent survey of 250 households in Accra reported that the average monthly expenditure on food is 1,700 Ghana cities. Look at this. It says a recent survey of 250 households in Accra. So we know that this 250 households in Accra is a sample because we all know that we have a lot of households in Accra, which is the population. But the part of it, which is the 250, is a sample, right? So this mean expenditure of 1,700 was computed from the 250 households. Not all households in Accra. So that makes this mean monthly expenditure of 1,700 Ghana cities a statistic, not a parameter. Then let's look at the second one. Ghana Education Service reports that the national average pass rate for WASI students in 2021 was 70%. We reported Ghana Education Service. Okay. They report that the national, meaning all, all students, okay, not part of the students, but all of them, the national average pass rate for WASI students. You know, Ghana Education Service has the data of all the 2021 students. So they can easily calculate the mean for all the 2021 students, isn't it? Uh -huh. So this average pass rate of 70% will be a parameter because it describes the entire population of interest, not just part of them. So this particular one is a parameter. Okay, then let's go to the next question. A research study found that 60 out of 100 surveyed farmers in the Volta region of Ghana use organic fertilizers. 60 out of 100. 60 out of 100 is like 60%. 60 over 100 times 100%. You get it, 60%. As soon as we take a survey of 100 farmers in Volta region, so 60 of them, that is 60%, use organic fertilizers. So it's just a sample of farmers in water region, not their population. So since this measure of 60% is based on a sample of farmers in water region, not the entire population of farmers in water region, then the measure here is also a statistic, not parameter. Okay. Then four, a recent survey of a sample of college career centers reported that the average starting salary for petroleum engineers is $83,121. A recent survey of a sample, this even telling you that it's a sample, okay? So this measure is based on a sample, not based on the entire group of petroleum engineers, just a subset of them, okay? So this average of 83,121 is a statistic, okay? Then let's look at this also. The 15,030 students who accepted admission offers to KNUST in 2020 have an average cutoff point of aggregate 14. So when you look at these 15,030 students, it is the entire group, not just part of it, okay? So since it is the entire group, this average aggregate of 14 will be a parameter, okay? So I want you guys to comment below with some other examples. Subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.